very warm welcome to you from wherever you join us on the continent or indeed around the world. We're settling in here for what will be the first of the round of 16 ties in these championships. Eight teams have bid their farewells. For the rest, the prize remains a potential reality. From now on, it's knockout football in its purest form. The narrative very much, losers go home. He's good for it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It's hoisted clear. Bellucci. It is deadlocked. Can he finish? Goal, Italy! The breakthrough strike. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved it. Italy take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what it... It's Cantreva! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And the counter is on. That's offside, yes it is. Yeah, he was off, ever so slightly, but he was off. Kentreva. He's pinged one through here. Inzaghi! That is a great ball, but not a great finish. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Chiellini. Florenzi. Looks to clip it forward. Oh. He's gone for it! it away and it's Jorginho Jorginho and there's the end of the first half and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very very tight well they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time and that's definitely pleased the fans I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half Italy head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break.
off again. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. He gets up to head it! And he's found the net! And the second half is off to a flyer! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Done very well to intervene. And it's Balotelli. Keeps everyone guessing. Danger averted for now. Oh, that's nice. Rinsagi! Goal, Italy! And they get themselves in front! Italy are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki-taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. Time for a change in personnel. Italy take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Balotelli, he's away, it's Balotelli! This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Corner. A spectacular effort! Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Throw in. Jorginho plays it long. And he just whacks it away. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And there goes the final whistle. First hurdle cleared. On to the next one. Your final thoughts, Jim? Italy have turned a, a win by one goal into round two, and they seem to have a personality that could win quite a few extra admirers.
It is quarter-final day at what has been a really remarkable European Championship so far. It's been a fine show with star teams, top players lighting up the pitch and there has been a terrific demonstration of friendship, fellowship, sportsmanship on the streets of the host cities. A showpiece for all things good about football. This yet another contest we hope to be played in that fine spirit. we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature each camp here respectful of the other and each also eager to escape the label of being favorite well you can understand that peter from a managerial perspective having got this far now is not the time to ease off on players and say well well done for getting this this far the demand for more greater higher has to increase. He's had a goal! Kentreva aimed long and direct. He's picked him out. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Keeper's got good distance on that. Forward it goes. He's given it away, and the finish! Cook and Coral. We sit high. Panucci. Still waiting for the first goal. Goes for goal! Out for a throw. it upfield and that'll be the last act of the first half so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals so they head in no further forward the score here still nil nil Inzaghi goal well when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage it augurs well uh, given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot well considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy he was the one player that should have been picked up then it was both careless and costly from where i'm sitting italy give themselves the perfect start can they build on it Calderim. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Cantreva. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. And it's Cantreva. Florenzi, he slid it through. So the ball's got out of play and a change is upcoming. Jorginho, that's not going to make it. It's gone a long way up and away. There's an outlook. Can he put it away? Sticks it away. Two up now, and they are cruising. Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was were absolutely top notch.
So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Italy get themselves a two-goal cushion. Lorenzo Insigne. Balotelli plays it forward. Ballot. Balotelli with a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. It's come loose. Tosun pushes it out wide. Big chance! The whistle is gone and it is all over. Italy through to the semi-finals. The trophy almost touchable. You cannot help but fancy them. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient and it's all paid off. So good day to you, a heartfelt welcome to everyone who joins us on semi-final day at this European festival of the beautiful game. Of the 24 nations that joined at the start, 20 have gone home. All that remains are four semi-finalists. No shortage of national professional motivation. Another step for each towards history. It's one! Great chance, it was a quality ball in. Oh, how has that not ended up in the back of the net? It was a cracking ball in the way he drilled it across and kept it down too. And back to base. Panucci. Balotelli. Out to the left it goes. Chiellini plays it forward. <laughs> Filippo Inzaghi. Now can he's had a shot! Goal, Italy! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Italy take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Balotelli! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, Inzaghi! He's got away with one there. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Well, I need to 
honest to say he was expecting a better ball than that. And it's Kantreva. Looking for space out wide. Towering header! Back of the net! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Roberto Baggio! And the semi-final reaches halfway. We can review the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Italy sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. we go once more Florenzi Marquisio Jones does well to read it and intercepts he's got away played into the middle clears it out of harm's way Chiellini now it's Balotelli has a hit they are rampant and they are pulling clear here. Hart reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Italy take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Tries to dink it in. Hits one! Oh, extraordinary. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind. Um, I don't think he knew either. England are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Talk about singling someone out. Well, better late than never, Peter, although it may not apply in this case um, after a hat-trick. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Now it's Welbeck. Kandreva looks to thread it through. Balotelli plays it back. Boots it to safety. Chiellini lobs it in gently. Barry tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. This is promising. Lana. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Italy are the winners in a one-sided semi-final. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away from the trophy now.
Welcome all to the day that marks the end of this month-long party. It really has been a fantastic exhibition of football, all things good in the game, the beautiful game. A story that has been four years in the making, so many unforgettable moments and memories, but this is it. This is the moment when we get to see who will be crowned kings of Europe for the next four years. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. No question, this is huge. You are amongst hundreds of millions viewing the greatest event of the summer, no doubt. Well, Peter, there's already a special feel about this atmosphere thanks to the, the potential that could unfold. A real anticipation of something truly memorable. And if these two teams do hit it off, we may have a summer sensation. Whatever happens, we're in for an intriguing ride. And we're on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining. Big chance! Big moment! Massive goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one. Lukaku! Oh, great save. Real class. Lukaku simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. It's good distance on it. Chiellini lobs it in gently. And that's been lever clear. And it's Lukaku. Italy are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Right. And the finish! And he's found the net! With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Belgium grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Now it's back. And the ball's come out. Florenzi, beautifully done. Hazard. And he's away. Lukaku spreads it towards the left. Lukaku has been caught there. It's a foul. Oh, smart save. He had plenty to do. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Played out to the right. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Genuinely interesting game here, very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Look, this is highly entertaining and exactly what we were hoping for. Goals at both ends, and what looks like two very evenly matched sides. Bring on the second half. So in they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. We're up and running.
battles to win it back. Cuts it on field. Pushes it out wide. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Roberto Baggio. For Marlon, simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. He's looking to get there first. Mertens goes long. Kandreva. Oh, good ball. Chiellini is demanding it out wide. And it's Nyingolan. And it's got through. Can he get the shot? He's gone for it! Goal! Belgium! And the comeback is complete! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Italy are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. Really. Going for goal! Yes, it's there! Again, we are level! What a contest! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they paid the price and deserved it. Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Here it is now, surely! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. You've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Having turned the game on its... Will be the final act. Italy have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.